That's right. That's right. How are you? Did you, you look wonderful. Did you yeah. just if the weather is nice, it's a sure bet you'll find Ithaca's Mayor Savante Myrick out and about talking to people across Ithaca. I can't imagine a better job than mayor. I mean, it is, you feel effective and you feel useful and you get to live amongst your work. As a junior communication major at Cornell University, Myrick was elected to the city's common council eight years ago, sparking a tight-knit bond. I just love that. I served four years and I, I, I really enjoyed it and I fell in love with the city of Ithaca. He's led the city through both good times and bad, like the crash into Simeon's restaurant. But safety is our number one priority right now. So if we feel that the building is going to collapse, we will take it down ourselves. While his love for Ithaca developed as a 20-year-old, his love for public service developed much earlier in life in his small hometown of Earlville. I was raised by a single mother. We were, when I was young, we were quite poor. You know, I, I mean, I, I um, came home from the hospital and we had a red eviction notice on our door. I spent the first six months of my life in a homeless shelter. And for the first eight years, we were really, um, uh, we struggled quite a lot. And it was like that young age and being raised in that way made me believe in the power of collective action. And I think that's what drew me to government. You know. And with this mentality, it shouldn't come as a surprise that the parking spot reserved only for him is meant for everyone. Taking a space that was private and exclusive and making it public and belong to everybody, I just thought would be a nice gesture. <laughs> People really dig it. I, every time I come outside, somebody's hanging out in it. And a lot of times, people don't even recognize it as a parking space. They think they're just sitting in some benches, which they are, you know. The mayor tells me he submitted all petitions necessary in order to run for his second term this upcoming fall. And he also says he's going to be unopposed. So I naturally asked him, after this upcoming four-year term, what will be on the docket next in his life? I don't know. I mean, I get that question a lot, and I say, only half kidding, that that I don't know what I want to be when I grow up yet. At the end of this upcoming term, he'll be 32, two years past the age required to run for U.S. Senate. So I pushed him asking, would you run for Congress? Four years from now, my hope is that I'll still be happy, that I'll still be productive, and, you know, I'd, I'd like to someday soon, you know, be able to buy a home and, and start a family. Things I haven't been able to do, I've been sort of busy. But it's the sort of busy where time flies by because he's doing what he loves, where his heart is. I tell people I would count myself lucky if I can do this until Social Security, you know, if I could do 10 terms as mayor, uh, I'll, I'll be a very happy and, and lucky man. Not wanting to put too much more onto his full plate, especially when what's on it is exactly what he wants. Reporting from Ithaca, I'm Alex Rasilla.